is that if a person kills another person, they all, there's only one penalty. What is it? Death penalty. There's no 20 years in prison. There's no 50 years in prison. There's no 100 years in prison like they're giving this kid that just murdered a bunch of people last week. They're giving him 50 years in prison because he's only 17. Or 40 years in prison. And when he's 57, he's going to be able to go on parole. He's 57 years old, he's going to be able to go free. Potentially. If nobody kills him in there before that. But the point is that this is the ludicrous situation. According to the Torah, you kill, you have to be killed. You have, no, you have lost your right to live. But the Torah specifies, if you kill an animal, it's obviously not the same value, no matter what the organization PETA and the like and the lefty liberals think. The value of an animal is not like the value of a human being. If you kill a dog, however cute he is, it's not worth your life. If you kill a cat, it's not worth your life. You kill a monkey, it's not worth your life. You kill the biggest, smartest lion in the planet, it's not worth your life. What do you have to do? You have to make restitution. You have to pay for it. Money. And then it goes into the law, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, and so on and so forth. From here we learn that eye for eye doesn't literally mean physical eye for physical eye. It literally explains to you that it's monetary compensation. But then... Then, Rabotai, the Chidush is this. After we hear eye for eye, break for break, tooth for tooth, it says again, on verse 21, Umakeh be'ema yeshalmena, Umakeh adam yumat. It says, one who strikes an animal shall make restitution, and one who strikes a person shall be put to death. I don't understand. You already said this before. On verse 17, you said if you strike a person, you kill a person, you have to kill them. And 18, you said if you kill an animal, you have to make restitution. Why mention it again a couple of verses later, both of them in the same verse? In verse 21, if you strike an animal, you have to pay restitution. If you strike a person, you're put to death. There's nothing... That's duplicated in the Torah for no reason. There has to be a reason. Here, Rabotai, the Torah is teaching us Musar. The Torah is teaching us Musar, telling us if the reason why you killed the animal wasn't because you were protecting for your own life. The lion wasn't trying to kill you. You're just hunting for fun. If you killed the sheep or the cow, or the dog, or whatever it is, because you're angry, and you don't work on yourself, just know, you're eventually going to kill a person. The reason why it's mentioned again, Abutai, is because if he kills an animal, he has to pay restitution. Meaning, he has to do tshuva. That's the restitution. Why? Because if he doesn't do tshuva, the next sin is going to follow. What? He's going to kill a person. And for that, he's going to lose his life. For that, he's going to lose his life. First, you lost money, and you were given an opportunity to do tshuva. Second time, when it's a person, you have to, that's it, you've lost your right to live. That's the Torah teaching us, Musa Rabotai. It is a cost to our anger.